Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the JavaScript series. This time I'm going to teach you about the document object model. Alright guys, so I know it's been a long time since I've made a video in this series, but I want to come back to it because um, JavaScript is awesome and whenever I want to teach you about things using JavaScript, I want you to have a full understanding of it. So it's good for me to finish the series strong with some good videos, okay? So now what we're going to be going over is called the DOM, okay? And the DOM is an acronym that means Document Object Model, okay? And in basic terms, it's just a way for you to represent your website within objects, okay? So you can actually grab the contents of your website with the JavaScript code, okay? So that's it's going to be very powerful. It's actually very powerful and um, it allows us to do many things with JavaScript, okay? So I'm actually on a website that teaches you up the, about the DOM, so I'll leave that link in the description here. But basically I'm here because I'm going to use it as, as a example, okay? So if we inspect the element of this page, we can go here and look at, you know, all of the the HTML code for this whole website, right? And with this alone, we cannot access, you know, let's say we want to access the the attributes of this p tag right here, okay? We want to see, like see the color of it, change the color of it, and stuff like that. We can't do that with HTML alone. We have to do that with JavaScript, okay? And with JavaScript, you can use the DOM to do that, okay? And the DOM is basically an object that represents the whole website, okay? So if we do document and just type it in there, then we get something back here, which is an object. We can open this object up and we can see that it represents the whole web page, okay? So that's pretty cool, right? So and that means, if you think about it, we can access all of our code through JavaScript, okay? And if you're wondering why the heck we would want to do that, well, we can actually get information from our code if we want to, but not only that, we can change our code without having even to reload the page, okay? So this is an object here, but it's actually represented whenever you print it out in the in the you know Chrome console as a string here. This is actually kind of a string technically. So if we want to look at it in you know object terms, we could do console dot dir or I don't know how to represent say that or pronounce that. So dir and then document <laughs> dir <laughs> anyway. So dir document and so that will print it out as an actual object. So if we open this up, we can see all of the the uh, attributes that this object has. So that's pretty cool, right? So we can see that um, it has a bunch of stuff like, you know, the, uh, let's see here, the domain, you know, the domain of the website here, uh, developer.mozilla.org. We got the head, we can get all the head information, like, let's see here, the child nodes of the head will be all the elements that are inside the head. So basically, you know, the text, the meta tags, we can even get the CSS tag or whatever, or the style tag, I mean. Anyway, it's just a bunch of information, right? So we can use all of this information to get information on our web page right here. So it's very, very powerful. And as you can see here, we can get style information. So this is going to be all of the styling for our, um, let's see here, what is it for? This is for our head, okay? So we can get all the styling for our head, which is not too important right now. So if you want to see the body of our page, you know, the actual elements within the body of our website, we can go to body. That's one of the things here. So if we find that. We see body here, okay, and this is basically you could, I guess you would call it a like a an object inside of an object. I don't know how you would call that, but basically we can open this body here, and now we have even more information just on the body alone, okay. And if we open up the child nodes of the body, which is going to be all of the elements within the body here, so so it's a lot of information. You might not understand exactly what all this means. I don't even understand what all this means. A lot of developers don't understand what a lot of this means. But as you learn how to work with the DOM, you're going to understand more and more about it and the things that you can do. It's very, very powerful, okay? And this is very useful for your JavaScript, uh, I guess, career, okay? So um, so let's select one of these elements. We'll select this one right here. And let's say we open one of these elements, right? We can get a bunch of information on the element itself, right? So yeah, that's how you access, you know, a bunch of stuff within the actual document object itself. But as another example, we can do document dot and then you know access it like we would access a normal object right so we could do document dot body dot child nodes um child nodes and then we could it gives us a preview of the um the value of this variable i guess you could say this is technically a variable so it gives us the value here which is actually an array of all the elements that are on this page okay so let's say we want to access this one right here the second or the first one actually we'll, we can just do since it's, in a, since it's an array we'll do zero because it's arrays are zero based right so it starts at zero so now we have selected this element, right? So that's pretty cool. So that's how you do something like that. And um, yeah. 
So anyway, that's just an example of some things that you can do. But the point is, we can now represent our entire web page within JavaScript code, okay? So we can grab some attributes like the CSS styling of elements and change the CSS styling of elements and a bunch of magical stuff here. So if we go to example.com, we can open up the DOM of this web page even too. Every page has a, do a DOM, okay? A document object model. So as long as we type document, we can now access the document, right? So let's console. You know, dir it. <laughs> So we can see what it looks like as a document. And uh, let's see, we can go to child nodes. And let's see, we get a bunch of stuff here. Well, that's for the, that's the child nodes of the, of the document itself. Let's go to body. Let's find body. Body. And we'll look at the child nodes of the body. So right here, there we go. And we can see that we have a div node here, right? So inside the div, we're gonna have the actual elements, okay? So we can open up the child nodes of the div and we get text h1. So now we have selected the h1, the text, and then all that stuff, right? So that's pretty cool. So if we wanna access one of these and maybe look at the styling of one, we could do that, okay? So let's try that out. So if we scroll down all the way, so we could do documents. And this is how we would access it within the code too, if we were gonna do it this way, okay? In the next episode, we're gonna learn the many ways of how we can access elements individually, but this is one of the ways that we can access it, okay? So document.body.childnodes, uh, right there, and then dot, and then we could see, let's access div, so we'll do one, because that's the second one. And then dot, we can see the child nodes of div, so child nodes of div. Now we can see all of these child nodes. So let's select the h1 tag right here, okay? So that would be the second one also, so it would be one. And then now we can access a bunch of information on that child node, or the element, okay? So it's the same thing. Element is a child node, basically. A node is an element. So if you want to see the styling of this, we can. We could do sty uh, style, and then now we can get a preview of all the stylings here. So if we do dot to see the attributes for the style variable, I guess you could say, now we get every single CSS style that can be possibly used on that single element, okay? So that's really cool. So not only can we actually see the value of them, for example, we could do uh, font. So if we print out font, we get the font that is used. So if we, it's empty, so it's probably a default font or something like that. We could do color. That's also empty. Um, yeah, that's just an example. But anyway, we can actually do something even crazier, though. We can change the value of these um, you know, attributes, these CSS attributes, the styles. So let's say we want to set it to red. We could do that. We're setting the value of the variable color to red, okay? So put an ending quote here, press enter, and now it's red, see? And we didn't even have to reload the page to do that, okay? We did that with just JavaScript, okay? So we can do a bunch of cool stuff, purple, anything, okay? So that's really, really awesome, right? So let's change something else. Let's go to, uh, let's see what other child nodes we had as an example. We'll do, let's just select a random one, three. Now that is purple, as you can see here. So it's very, very cool, right? So that's awesome. So that's just an example of, you know, some of the things that we can do by accessing, you know, the document object model, okay? So we can get a better understanding of what we're able to do in the next episodes. So if you have any questions about what I showed you, just ask in the comment section and I'll be glad to help you out. Um, also, we have a Discord link in the description also. Make sure you join it, hang out with us, anything you want to do. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.